What's going on, everybody? We are live here on the DST show. Of course, we are only a few weeks away, like, I think over a week into the Royal Rumble. And I've been, you know, prioritizing primarily a lot more uh, an animation of sports, you know, stuff that actually keeps me entertained. And it keeps you guys entertained whenever you guys pull up and uh, have your comments, already got your polls, always getting involved. And we're possibly going to do one play by play game if I can get the Streamlabs to work or. Something because I'm not paying 20 bucks for uh, just for recording viewership. I understand that would be a bit of a financial sacrifice just so I can stream a lot more over the month. But I'm cheap. I'll see what I could do if I want to make this a consistency about me streaming content other than me recording. But yeah, the Real Rumble hasn't really excited me. There hasn't been that big of a deal. There's not that many stars in the Royal Rumble, Roman, the bloodline still exists. The most over thing on the WWE is Sami Zayn, sadly. There has been no primordial overarching thing to even keep me in just, you know, invested. Every other time, a person's just trying to just click bake the hell out of the lack of actual content that professional wrestling has, because... The poor thing is dying as we speak every damn week. There's nothing newsworthy to even have over the Rumble other than guys that are less over than the guys that we have over at NXT that could debut on the main roster. Like they told me Jay White. Who the f who's Jay White? Don't get this Aussie Seth Rollins away from me with his ripoff sister Abigail and his crappy New Japan wrestling that nobody watches, dog. And the saddest thing is he could have just been a dark wrestler for the rest of his life, but he chose to go back over to Japan so we could just spit out better promos than the guy, than the Japanese guys that are less valued over in the company. It's just agitating to know this is where WWE comes over. It's always who uh, is just returning, then who's just going to be the next guy up to try to get some excitement over the window. Some people have said it might be Cody Rhodes. Randy Orton might come back. Guys, it, it, I don't even know if anybody thinks about the long term. People say it might be The Rock. Jesus Christ. We are, we, are, we are that desperate for some type of sentiment of hype to push us over the edge, bro. I, I just don't get it. I, I don't get what's ever going to satisfy over this fan base to bring any sentiment that there's no reason why I should be wasting my energy on this. Either than just the hope, just a glimpse of optimism that they might just do what I ask. And that's possibly the weirdest way to ever frame. Hey, let's just see if I'm just going to remember this Royal Rumble. Because they're doing Kevin Owens and, Ro Bro uh, and, and uh, Roman Reigns. And I'm not saying that these guys are not going to have a bad match. Obviously, these guys have wrestled several times before in a steel cage. Hell, they even wrestled on... At the Royal Rumble before. In a last man standing match. So they even have to regurgitate it. Because nobody's over on that damn show. Or at least in the same magnitude of star power as Roman Reigns. Because everybody wants to be stuck the way they are. And don't want to change. To the expectations of trying to be a big star. It, it's agitating. Like the only thing that's. I'm still going to watch the Rumble. Because it's pay per view. And never really denounce any type of consistency of me even trying to do content involving just primarily pro wrestling. I've I've streamed literally a spinoff of a classic cartoon show. I've been doing a lot more sports content over the past four uploads. What part of this sounds like I want to concern myself or at least associate myself with being just called... A wrestling channel. You know how my demeaning that is? And for the guys that's been there for me to just do wrestling content, I thank you. And don't worry, I don't mind talking about it. But this is just the expectations that I just get. It feels like a chore. I've talked about this before. And I've, and I've been a bunch of guys that I associate with. Some guys that I collabed with, work with. That been in this channel that you've probably seen. Or I've been in their channel that you've probably seen me. That they treat 
talking about wrestling, associating the uh, associating themselves with wrestling like it's a goddamn chore. And it's it, and there's nothing wrong with getting bored of talking about the same crap over your channel, but when you guys are just mixing crap up and then what you see why you haven't uploaded in a couple of years, you you let this crap control your life. And I'm saying do not do that. Talk about stuff that interests you. Talk about stuff that you actually don't mind having a conversation with outside of just a, a YouTube or wrestling bubble. It, it It's going to hurt your head and it's going to hurt your creativity. If you have to pretend to care about a Mountain Dew pitch black match or Sasha Banks going to a arena that houses over 100,000 people and still can't draw because... She's part of the highly manufactured women's division that's supposed to be getting treated seriously. That doesn't mean that they're the top reason why people watch. The Attitude Era had better women, and most people talk about them because they can actually name over 10 women that was actually there. No one's going to care about Emma. No one's going to care about Charlotte Flair whenever she always gets another Botox or gender reassignment surgery so she can have more testosterone than half the men on the roster. Oslina Vega looking like a mini Sasha Banks that's literally looking like a stripper. An ex-stripper next to a dumpster. It's agitating. And most people are just referencing over the returns. Or Cody Rhodes might win it. I'm not trying to wait for it to be TV-14. I don't care if it gets bought out by Saudi Arabia. And any time uh, a female superstar does not, you know, listen to the guidelines that Saudi is giving. And they get stoned to death. It, I just want the show to be consist, you know, consistently interesting. I don't even care if it's, like, levels of corny and bad. Just make me feel like every episode... And every pay-per-view, always feel like I need to watch more. That it, it, I don't know if it's that hard to peek over my interest. That Royal Rumble is only trending just for the contents of just The Rock coming back. Because if you tell me anybody over in this roster that still deserves to just win the Rumble, you're just lying to yourself that you're going to keep interest to them for a yearly basis. You know damn well you guys never be like, yo, I need to listen to that Matt Riddle promo again. Other than the time Seth Rollins was talking about his wife and his marital issues and his him getting a divorce. And was that really Riddle talking or Rollins talking? For a majority of it. Most of these guys suck. Half of these guys you won't even listen to in over a 15-minute promo of them talking about themselves because they already are that lack of a character that you just want to pretend like you'll give any semblance of investment because these guys aren't char characters. They're just wrestlers. And and more of the basis that you want to like pretend like you care about Riddle winning or Lashley. Not, I don't mind Lashley winning, but if Austin Theory wins, like half of the roster already feels this dull. Like, I don't care if anybody wins. You can literally just sim this like it's universe mode. Over the sentiment of you actually... Unless you're looking over on the tweet. Unless you're looking at their work. That they already previously previously did. Or trying to just say, oh, because they're a good wrestler. Or because they had a, cert a specific feud that didn't even emotionally invest you. And then you see over the consistent ratings that they never push whenever... Kevin Owens is on screen, Austin Theory is on screen, whatever, the Judgment Day is on screen. Even when Triple H is over on the helm, and people are still giving it an excuse, like this is under a year into his work. He, he still finalizes what happens, guys. Stop. Stop trying to in, enforce any type of excuse when it's obvious that more people and more people are still not watching. And don't you dare blame it over on... On the playoffs. The NFL playoffs. The NFL playoffs are on a weekend. There was literally only a three-day weekend for the NFL playoffs. 
The NFL, literally the divisional round, the divisional round is only going to be Saturday and Sunday, and the in the championship weekend is literally going to be in one day. Super Bowl is going to be in one day. Is that really going to be your excuse for why Rock can't still overdraw around at least one point seven million? And then you gotta always push one a statistical account and saying that they're just not doing much to always like reach over just a regular crowd that already expects much or expects less. <sighs> Honestly. And why you see like even bigger YouTubers, bigger YouTubers than me, or at least bigger than the ones that you know that folk that talked about like Tyro Magnus was a, like a bigger you reaction YouTuber that I remember. Millions is uh, very successful, and, so, and he always somewhat talked about wrestling. Now he doesn't. You think that's, you know, lessening his paper? At all. It's depressing. And anytime I'm looking over on Twitter, anytime I'm looking at any other medium, they're just looking at the past like it's going to be like that. It's, it, it's not. We are not going to get Real Rumble 2001. We're possibly going to get some return mentions. Kofi Kings is possibly going to try to concave his chest in one more time and get himself a near concussion. And then you're going to pretend it's been the favorite point of the match, even though it's probably Chris Masters coming back or something. And probably Jay White when he's probably going to be at the same level as R-Truth in like half the year. And then you're going to remember one good match in the Rumble. It's depressing. But, you know, that's just me. If you guys think differently, comment down in the comment section below. I understand this has been a really pessimistic take, because if there was anything optimistic about wrestling, I would have been doing this more consistently. But besides that, you tell me how you guys feel. You guys going to watch the pay-per-view? Should I stream the pay-per-view? Thanks for watching the Tasty Show. Like, comment, subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. That's it for me.